So this is what my life has led up to. Talking about new designs for M&Ms. I don't know whether to laugh or feel pain. M&Ms are nice candy, but they've also been a staple in pop culture as animated characters. For a few decades, you've watched them in commercials going on various misadventures to promote the real-life chocolate. Each of them has a unique personality depending on the color, but you probably already know that. Anyway, thanks to recent news of a redesign for the M&Ms brand, these guys have been in the spotlight again. We took a deep look at our characters, both inside and out, and have evolved to their look, personalities, and backstory stories to be more representative of today's society. A brand representative explained, As the world changes, so do we. Here are the old designs, and here's how everyone looks now. At first glance, it feels like the characters are the exact same. It's only when you stare for a few more seconds that the changes reveal themselves. For one, their color palette is different. What were once tan arms and legs have become a less defined gray. For some reason, their shoes are more detailed with laces now? Uh, I don't know. The green M&M loses her white go-go boots in exchange for a pair of basic sneakers. The brown M&M's heels have shrunken down. Aside from a few changes in how the gang looks, let's also talk about their new personalities, I, I guess. Brown and green, who don't have the best relationship, will be more friendly together. The worried orange will now be a little more confident. Red, the bully kind of character, will be a bit nicer. All these are coming right from the marketing team, by the way. I'm just reading them out. Studies show our desire to belong is as strong as our desire to be loved. And that desire is common for all people, irrespective of culture, race, ethnicity, geography, or location, the brand said in the release. M&Ms use this insight to create the M&Ms fund, to track the brand's impact on our mission, which will offer resources, mentorship, opportunities, and financial support in the arts and entertainment space to help ensure people have access to experiences where everyone feels they belong. The main question being asked now is why? True, the world is big. There are a bunch of different people and it's important to represent them in media. But M&Ms? I'm not even really mad, I'm just confused. Has anyone ever opened up a bag of these wanting anything else other than chocolate? Representing all kinds of people is awesome, but a chocolate candy isn't exactly the go-to method. It feels less like a way of unifying the world and more a strategy for the company to say, hey, we care about you, when they really just want the money in your wallet. Now, if these changes seem weird, you should also know that the logo has a new look. It rotated a few degrees. Uh Okay. But at the end of the day, this whole situation can be summed up in one clip. Tis confusion! But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.